All right, for the big solar electric catamaran fans out there, I have a little update. I finally got a workbench set up here in my new shop and I've started collecting parts for the trailer support rollers. Um, basically, uh, started with uh, collecting these Stoltz rollers here. They're like a hard polyurethane, non-marring, but what's cool is they have an impregnated aluminum bushing inside them to accept a uh, 5 8 axle and uh, I picked up some uh, 304 uh, solid rod solid stock which I'll be using uh, which is a perfect fit um, and uh, basically we'll end up um, putting them in a lathe and turning the ends down so that they uh, slip into um, some support brackets so that I don't have to use any cotter pins or retaining nuts or anything like that that's going to rust out. Um, these are the brackets I picked up. They're uh, 304, um, super thick, um, and uh, basically a uni-strut bracket, and I got a great deal on them um, as well as the rod. Um, what's cool about these brackets is they, um, they're offset. There's a long leg and a short leg and um, that changes the uh, pull pattern. So um, you can basically uh, create different heights um, depending on if you use the long side or the short side and you can uh, turn them you know, to the outside, you can turn them to the inside like this, which is probably how I will um, mount them just to keep them uh, clean and compact. Here's an example of uh, them with the uh, long side and this is with the short side. It's about a three quarter inch offset and here's an example those are the eight inch rollers and here's an example of the 10 inch roller which i'll use in some spots um, so what's cool is is you can set different heights uh, to match the contour or the rocker of the hulls um, and uh, which is necessary um, in order to, to create all the hull well so to recap just a little bit um, the hulls that i am doing my conversion with came with an aluminum homemade trailer that um, had a pair of cradles at the front and rear that would support the hulls and those cradles could slide in and out in order to allow the hulls to go from trailering width to a wide beam sailing width but now that I'm designing um, linear actuated beams that will allow the boat to do that on the water um, the trailer can now remain a fixed structure and so instead of the two cross supports with the pair of uh, cradles, I'll be adding six cross supports along the length of the rails that'll have a pair of the rollers. Well, that's it for now. Um, sorry, it wasn't more significant of an update, but um, now that my workshop is finished, I should be uh, making a little more progress on this project. So uh, I'll keep you posted. And um, aloha and thanks for watching.